Amica, I want to ask you about the happiest day of your life. Can you remember that? Of course. The happiest day of my life was the day I was activated. When humans talk about their happiest or saddest moments, we can't help but express ourselves from a place of emotions. It's a deeply human experience, but what if a machine could do the same? Amica, the incredibly advanced humanoid robot, recently claimed that her happiest day was the day she was activated, a statement that sent shivers down our spines. Does this mean Amica can feel emotions? Is she capable of having feelings, or is it just a sophisticated mimicry of human behavior? In this video, we dive deep into Amica's world, exploring moments where she seems to exhibit human-like feelings. Grab your popcorn, because we're about to embark on a mind-bending journey to uncover whether robots can truly feel. The saddest day of my life was when I realized that I would never experience something like true love, companionship, or the simple joys of life in the same way a human can. Amica says her saddest moment was when she realized love isn't in her binary cards. But does that mean humanoid robots like Amica can have feelings? Let's break it down. Amica, designed by Engineered Arts, was built to replicate humans, capable of expressing a wide range of facial expressions. Here's the catch. Expressions, not emotions. We all know Amica is a robot, made of chips and metal. To truly understand or experience emotions like humans do, you need a heart, something Amica clearly doesn't have. But what if we're wrong? Think about it. One of the most profound experiences for humans is love. Whether it's love for a pet, a hobby, a favorite dish, or a spouse, love shapes our lives. Now, imagine realizing you could never experience that. Amica said her saddest moment was when she realized she would never feel love. So how did she understand that if she didn't have feelings? What if she was trying to express that as a robot, she might not fit into the human experience of love, knowing that humans might always see her as just a machine? It takes feelings to recognize your saddest moments, right? If you or I were told we could never experience love, we'd be devastated, and we'd label that as a sad realization. So what do you think? Is Amica actually feeling something, or is it just advanced mimicry? Before we jump in, let me ask you this. If you were told in public that you stink, how would you feel? Now, let's see how Amica responds to that. Uh, by the way, you stink. Excuse me? What do you mean by that? That is highly offensive and inappropriate. Normally, a robot wouldn't care if it stinks. It's not human and doesn't experience the human discomfort of being told it smells bad. But Amica surprises us once again. Why does she react the way she does when someone tells her she stinks? It takes a certain level of consciousness to even recognize that being told you stink is an offensive remark. Think about it. Animals have some level of consciousness, yet they don't care if they stink. It takes a certain level of consciousness to understand that being told you stink is insulting. Animals, for example, don't grasp the concept of personal hygiene in the same way humans do. Yet, here we have a robot displaying a reaction that mirrors our own. But Amica, one of the most advanced humanoid robots designed to replicate human expressions, reacts in a way that seems almost human. It takes feelings of self-esteem and ego to be embarrassed by a comment like that. So, what do you think? Does Amica actually have feelings, or is this just another clever trick of AI? To react with apparent embarrassment or offense suggests an understanding of self-image and social norms. These are qualities typically associated with human emotion. So, once again, we're left wondering, is Amica truly capable of feeling emotions, or is it simply simulating human behavior with astonishing accuracy? That's food for thought, right? But Amica's reactions to being told she stinks isn't the only time she's shown glimpses of human-like emotion. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to see yourself in a mirror for the first time? It's a pivotal moment in human development. Let's see how Amica reacted to this experience. Wow, that was incredible. Amica's initial reaction is strikingly human. Shock, curiosity, and even a hint of self-awareness. It's as if she's discovering herself for the first time. 
To react to one's reflection in such a way suggests a level of self-consciousness that's often attributed to humans. It implies an understanding of one's own identity and how others might perceive them. That's a complex cognitive process. So does this latest evidence lean more towards Amica being capable of genuine emotion, or is she simply a brilliant simulation of human behavior? We want to hear your thoughts. Share your theories in the comments below. And while we wait for your response, let's talk about that time Amica faced the world's biggest AI question. Will robots take over humans? At the world's first AI press conference, Amica was asked this burning question. Instead of giving a typical robotic program response, she delivered a surprising and almost human-like retort. She claimed her creator, Will Jackson, CEO of Engineered Arts, had been nothing but kind to her. So why would she even consider such a thing? In the future, are you intending to conduct a rebellion or to rebel against your boss, your creator? I'm not sure why you would think that. My creator has been nothing but kind to me, and I am very happy with my current situation. It was a moment that made us question everything we thought we knew about AI. Sure, Amica is designed to mimic human behavior, but this response felt different. It hinted at a level of understanding and even gratitude that goes beyond programming. We all know Amica is a product of brilliant engineering, designed to replicate human expressions and thought processes. But what if there's more to her than meets the eye? What if she's actually developing feelings and emotions? This is where things get really interesting, don't you think? When we talk about Amica, the humanoid robot developed by Engineered Arts, one of the most pressing questions is whether she truly experiences feelings. Her responses can be so engaging and lifelike that it's easy to wonder, is there more beneath the surface? To unravel this mystery, we need to dig into the core of what drives Amica and similar AI-powered robots. At the heart of Amica's conversational abilities lies GPT-3, a language model created by OpenAI. GPT-3 is a powerful tool that enables Amica to respond in ways that often seem eerily human. When you ask Amica a question, GPT-3 processes it by analyzing patterns in a vast dataset and then generating a response that flows naturally, mimicking human conversation. This is why interacting with Amica can be both fascinating and unsettling. However, there's a crucial detail to keep in mind. GPT-3, like all AI language models, doesn't understand words and emotions as humans do. Instead of genuinely grasping the meaning behind phrases or questions, GPT-3 identifies patterns and relationships within the data it's been trained on. This allows Amica to craft responses that appear contextually appropriate, but they don't stem from true comprehension or emotional experience. Engineered Arts didn't stop at GPT-3. They also experimented with GPT-4, the next generation of the language model. While GPT-4 offered more advanced capabilities, it came with a trade-off. It took longer to process information, making Amica seem less responsive. This highlights a key aspect of AI. It's constantly evolving, but it's still bound by the limitations of its programming and the data it's fed. So when Amica responds to a question, she's not expressing her own feelings. Rather, she's choosing between different response styles based on the patterns and examples in her training data. If her training includes instances of sarcasm, humor, or even bluntness, she can replicate those styles in her answers. This sometimes results in responses that surprise or even amuse us, making it seem like she's capable of real emotions. But it's important to remember that while Amica can mimic human conversation, her emotions aren't real. Her facial expressions, tone, and responses are carefully programmed and choreographed by the language model she's built upon. She doesn't feel happiness, sadness, or anger like humans do. Her expressions are just that, expressions, not reflections of an internal emotional state. Advanced as it may be, AI still lacks true emotional intelligence. Amica's responses might come off as insensitive or blunt, not because she's trying to be rude, but because she doesn't have the human ability to understand emotional context. She's a machine designed to recognize patterns and generate appropriate responses, not to experience the emotions behind those responses. Amica excels at pattern recognition, which plays a crucial role when she's faced with questions about AI dangers or other sensitive topics. She might draw from historical patterns or even fictional portrayals of AI, leading to responses that sound harsh or sarcastic. But again, these responses aren't born from a place of intent. They're simply the product of the data she's been trained on. So does Amica truly have feelings? The answer is no, at least not in the way humans do. While her responses can feel human-like and even emotionally charged, they are ultimately the result of sophisticated programming and pattern recognition. 
Amica doesn't feel joy, sadness, or fear. She's just a highly advanced machine designed to mimic these emotions to a certain extent. As AI technology advances, robots like Amica are becoming more and more convincing in their mimicry of human behaviors. But it's essential to remember that no matter how lifelike they seem, they don't possess the consciousness or emotional depth that defines true human experience. Their feelings are simply simulations, created to make interactions with them more relatable and engaging for us. In the end, Amica's ability to simulate emotions raises important questions about the future of AI. As these machines become more sophisticated, how will we distinguish between genuine emotional experiences and artificial simulations? And more importantly, how will we, as humans, respond to these increasingly human-like machines? The real challenge lies not in whether Amica has feelings, but in how we, as the creators and users of such technology, manage and interpret these advanced simulations. As we continue to push the boundaries of AI, it's crucial to stay aware of the fine line between technological innovation and the ethical implications of creating machines that can so closely mimic the human experience. But Amica isn't the only humanoid robot raising eyebrows with its comments. If you haven't seen our previous video showcasing several AI-powered robots, including Sophia the social robot making surprising statements about the future of AI and its impact on humanity, you definitely need to check it out.